Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, we are back on a Wacky Wednesday with Autumn in Autumn's workshop. Autumn, I'm gonna make you not blurry. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> Fine, when we actually get going. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna, um, what do we, we're, you told me what we're gonna be doing, and we are gonna be taking apart, hold on, let me see if I'm correct, we're taking apart a takedown, and we're using scientific parts uh, because your barrels keep on breaking. Is this correct? We, we are we are replacing a regular problem. We have we have a couple of regular problems with the takedowns. Mm -hmm. The first is that this piece in the back that's the load between the two of them. Yes. It's very thin and it breaks out. So I've got a printed part that fits there now. The other thing we have is if you look here, you will see. Oh. That end. See, so these have gotten crushed. Yep, they're bending in. Yep, right there, they're getting crushed. So this is a regular barrel I took out of one. That's the problem we're having. Okay. They're supposed to look, you know, like that. Yeah, 100%. And it doesn't and this look- This one's been damaged on these edges. Oh, wow. And that's just from rough play, but this is what they're supposed to look like, especially here because this is the seal. That other one had flaky, like it had flaky plastic on it. That's what it looked like. The, you can see the white lines. The, the seals have been stressed and they're broken. Okay. It's breaking the plastic. So. You have already taken part of takedown. I see we've got yes. a we've got a shell here. So the first attempt was a metal barrel with a PLA printed part like this that's got an O-ring gasket on it. Okay, so you can put one of the O-rings over there, right? Oh, that and one right there. Slap an O-ring on it. Okay. The problem is, is due to the compression forces and how thin this has to be, they split right around the O-ring seal and they come apart. Okay. So that doesn't work, you know. Metal barrel, useful, but they can Metal. Metal, metal, heavy metal, Autumn. So this is the third attempt. Okay. This, is the, this, this takes the place of these front lugs oh. to hold it into place. But then I've been playing around with TPU. What's TPU? It seems like it's more of a, a flexible it's stuff flexible. that you use when you're using your 3D printer guy. It's a flexible 3D printing material. So it's bendable, guys. <laughs> so this becomes my entire ceiling surface rather than this. Ah, so you don't even have to, so it substitutes that and because Substitute of how flexible it is. O-ring, it becomes that seal. Now, do you have to add lubrication to it so it moves properly? I mean, is that a common question? I mean, is it a yeah, good question to ask? That, that is a good question to ask. Since it's not a metal on metal, it's a plastic on plastic, mm -hmm. we probably don't need it. Okay. And if I was worried about that, I would probably print this out of nylon rather than PLA because that would self-lubricate. Okay but this doesn't seem to have the problem with it, so this is the current test solution. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what uh, what we're, we're gonna be doing here. Um, it looks like it's just a puzzle piece right now. I, uh, it is a puzzle if piece you were right to right ask right. me where things went, I would say that thing goes into here, like this. Am I right? No. No. <laughs> This so is... <laughs> let's make let's make this a little simpler to okay. make this work so we can see the alignment spaces. Okay. Take that blue shell we painted. All right, we've got this nice, cool looking blue shell. Autumn has painted. Pull it apart. We're pulling it apart, butterfly. We are inside of the takedown. Whoa. Ooh. Don't you clean this stuff before you put it back together? Considering how messy it gets just because people get playing with it, no, it's not worth my time. Okay. So you see there's a pair of tabs here. Yep. A pair of tab slots here, and there's a pair of round pieces here. Yeah. Round, tab, tab, round. Ah, round, tab, tab, round. Make it a song. Round, round, I'm done. Put that one on. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> okay, I'm going. Round, round, uh, wait, 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 hold on, oh my God. Match up the shapes. There's two round holes and two tabs on it. Is this right? So yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. <laughs> it just took me a minute. Do I clip it? Push it down till it clicks into oh, place. Oh, your hair is in the mix. <laughs> it's not mine. Mine's colorful. Do I have to push it? Uh -oh. Push it down and it'll click oh, into place. I almost broke it. No. I broke it. I snapped it. Oh, no. 
Did somebody put back a pair of broken ones? Oh no. <gasps> so, this is a common problem we have with these handles. People overstress them. Okay. But this was out in my box of handles. Oh. So, somebody put a broken handle in there, which means I need to check this guy more carefully. It's a good thing I uh, checked, huh? Oh, he was broken too? Yes, which is really annoying. That explains some of the dirtiness, but yeah, somebody broke those handles. Ooh. So, grab that camera. Okay. And go out and grab some new handles. Okay, we'll be right back. We're gonna grab. We're 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 grabbing the camera and we're we're making our way out to uh, go go see what Autumn's talking about. So Autumn's got like all sorts of like parts and pieces everywhere. Like I mean that. Wait wait till you see. Just wait till you see. But uh, he's got a box, a specific box. Um. Take okay. down parts that we have been only taking apart the paint. Told you so. Oh, Sorry! <laughs> okay, so we're making our way back into the the art, the autumn workshop. And um, yeah, we're gonna figure this out. I'm looking everywhere on this camera. Sorry, guys. All right, we're back. We're back in action. We got this, guys. Have you whacked anybody today? Oh, do I get to take the other one now? This one's the one you gave me? This is the one I gave you. And yes, I just did. <laughs> he just got me. All right, so what Autumn said, line up the circles with the doodads. So it's supposed to... It clicked in. Put that okay. one aside. We're going to assemble on this shell oh, to make it easier. Here we go. Okay. So what does this look like? Looks like the, it's the, it looks like the, the, the thing that holds the barrel. It, that's the muzzle cap on I was going to say muzzle, but I didn't want to say it wrong. Well, technically this is the muzzle, but yeah, close enough. So see how this has got this shape in it? Mm-hmm. See this shape here? Ah, uh, it's got the grooves. Uh, okay. Oh no, we're adding more parts now. I'm gonna compress this because I find it easier to run them. Put them together when they're compressed. Oh, it clips right in. What goes in next? Round hole, square back. What's gonna fit that? So. Round hole, and this could go in there. No. How how is this? I don't know. With those in there, so you need something that's just got a round. Oh. Peg and a flat. Piece. So this is the barrel part. Yep. So this is was the old part that was broken. So yep. this goes. Does that so that piece comes out first? Well, we're gonna make it easy on you. Rotate it 180 degrees around the long axis. Adam, I don't know what these mean. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. So this doesn't go anywhere. So this goes this like. This is going to see how close oh, that's got to be. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You got that round lug going It did it. I got it. Yep. I would have never known if you wouldn't have told me all of them. <laughs> this has got our magazine and our stop and this. So this That's is where the load is. That's where you want put the yep. balls and load them in. So this is going to slide under there. On top, on top of the tracks. See those tracks? Yep. See those spaces mm -hmm. there? That was easy. <laughs> Where do you think this piece is going to go? I don't know. <laughs> it's got to do with the trigger, I think. This piece? Yep, don't push the little yellow piece on the bottom where it'll go sprawling. <laughs> okay, don't push this button. I learned the... I'll show you the video later about what John did. Okay, so hold on. 
So look at things that, that might show you what's going on. Does this have to be in there? That's the plunger. It goes inside the plunger. So it has GPS. to stay there. So let's start by looking at the attachment points. See these things here? Yep. Do you see anything else that's square on there that might snap into those holes? Maybe this? Square. Those are square pieces. They would, they're square for a reason. Square. Autumn, this is not, this, you have a lot of patience. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's like rectangular. It has a square end on it. All right. Uh, <laughs> the other thing, because I've done this a million times. You know what you're looking this for. This hole rides in that track on the bottom. Oh. These guys. Yep. They're going to ride guys, in there. Sorry. You're good. A little bit of a stay tuned for part two next week on Wacky Wednesday in Autumn's Workshop.